Hey everyone, Mary here from Vegans from Mars and Disneyland Vegan, and today I have my brother Wacko from the Wacko Show. Dot com. <laughs> yes, all that. You can find and, me on anything under the Wacko Show. You type that in, I'll pop up somehow. There I'll you pop go. up in your house. No, I'm just kidding. No, I won't do that. That's creepy. I can't Don't do, do that, that anymore. He's no, not going to do that. No, not anymore. <laughs> Moving on. Um, yeah, so my brother is not vegan, but he does enjoy vegan food and vegan <laughs> products. So as long as it's good. As long as it's good. Of course it's vegan. It's going to be good. Um, so oh, he's going to be nice. our non-biased um, opinion today, and we're going to be trying a few vegan skincare products and a few vegan snacking products. So let me show you guys what we're going to be trying today. So first off, we're going to be trying some of the new masks from Dermot E. And um, these are all vegan and cruelty free. So we're going to be trying these on and we should probably just put them on before we actually do our taste tests and just keep them on. What yeah, do you think? let's do it. Okay. Just do it quick and together, um, we can probably wipe our faces down first with these hydrating wipes And then also we're gonna be trying some uh, vegan Rob's snacks now He has never tried any of their snacks before I've tried quite a few But there's a few of these that are completely new to me um, that I'm gonna be trying with him today so, so we've got the Brussels sprout puffs, which are a personal favorite of mine another favorite cauliflower puffs and you have not tried these. These are interesting. The sound, the one that I was shocked on, past me, that's the one, the beat one right there. This was interesting because when she first said, you want to try some beet? I was like, wait, what? <laughs> beet puffs? I was like, do poor kids have to eat this? That's what I thought originally. <laughs> that's what I thought. Then I was like, you know, when I tried it, and I was like, what? This is good. But then I started looking at the ingredients, and everything is... Uh, Organic, I gotta read this real quick. Organic whole grain, it has uh, flour obviously. The organic um, sunflower oil, beet powder, uh, nutritional yeast and sea salt, and that's it. And seriously, when I first read it, I was like, no way this doesn't taste good. <laughs> but I was kind of hungry, so I went with it anyway. And as soon as the first bite, I ended up eating the whole bag. I, I haven't tried bag. I haven't tried these yet because, to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of beets. But I'm going to give you my honest opinion when I try these. We'll see if I like them or not. I may or may not. I know. I tried we'll that see. beet ketchup. That stuff was pretty good. Beet up. Beet up. Yeah, that's beach right. Yeah, beet really They gave me some. That was good. And then we also have these um, cheddar puffs, which are another favorite of mine. That sounds like it's going to taste good. Cheddar puffs. It is. I promise you. Um, and then we have these, mer is that Moringa? I've never tried these and I don't even know what Moringa is. I actually had to look it up because <laughs> I had no idea. I was like, Moringa, what's that? He's prepared. I'm not. I have no idea kind what this of, is. Kind of. Now I guess you kind of know. But I have not tried these either. So it's supposed um, to be super healthy with all kind of benefits and stuff like that. So. Well, these are all healthier treats compared to most especially. Yeah. And they they have very few ingredients. Um, and, of course, everything's vegan and um, gluten-free. And uh... <laughs> Vegan, gluten-free, kosher. Non-GMO, plant-based, uh, zero trans fat, no cholesterol, zero sugars, two grams of protein, and four percent DB fiber. All, All the good stuff. Good. All the good stuff. So let's get started. Let's um, put the masks on, and then we can uh, give our honest opinion on these snacks and see how it goes. All right. So first, we're gonna try these hydrating facial wipes just to make sure. We wipe off any dirt or anything from our skin before we put the masks on. They smell good. Ooh, they do smell nice. It's, it's like, um, not really like perfuming, but it smells like you eat I never really paid this. attention. Mm, so I don't, have, good. I don't have any makeup on right now because I knew I was going to be doing this, which is why my face is all like shiny and weird. I just have eyebrows on because I don't want to look like an alien right now. But, um, Cause she is an alien. I am an alien. That's vegans why I'm from Mars. That's why I'm yeah. vegans from Mars. You're such a ham. Magic. Okay, so I think the one you were gonna try was a purifying two-in-one charcoal mask. So that one's gonna be yours, and then I think I'm gonna try the vitamin C brightening uh, clay mask, which has turmeric and kale. Two things that I put in a lot of my meals. 
So why not put it on my face? So we're gonna have to leave this on for five minutes until a mask is dry. Or however long we yap because we both tend to talk a lot. Yep, yep. Then afterwards you moisten fingertips and massage gently. All right, so I just grabbed a couple of makeup brushes. Um, I think this is a foundation brush from Wet n Wild. I never use it, so I'm just gonna use it for the mask. And this is very yellow. It looks like mustard. Ooh, it smells nice. How does yours smell? <laughs> You're already slopping it on your face. Let me smell it. Not I, don't, too, not, I don't smell anything. Yeah, it's not strong smell or anything. Mark, yeah, mark, I don't smell anything. <sighs> oh, it no. feels cold. La la. <laughs> what? You just look way too happy to be doing this. I do this all the time. What are you talking about? Oh, do you? Yeah, usually with the stuff in the backyard. <laughs> what? Mud? Yeah. <laughs> all right, does mine look even? Yeah, you're starting <laughs> to change color now. You're all yellow. <laughs> you look, we look like we belong in that movie, that Disney movie. <laughs> the one with the, one? the emotions and stuff. The emotions? Yeah, they all had different colors. What was the name of that one? I don't know what? the name of the movie. Oh, it's a Pixar film. Yeah, Pixar. That's right. It was I Pixar. Never, I never saw that one. I love Pixar. We look but like I've never we're in that, that Pixar one. movie with them, those emotions. Yeah, I think I think mine is starting to dry up, so I'm probably gonna leave it where it is. It's changing color. Changing color. <laughs> All right, let's dig into some of these snacks. I'm hungry. Ooh. I don't know about you. Which one do you want to try first? Don't don't do. Okay, well I well. It'll wipe off easily. You could just clean it off. I gotta see what I mean. <laughs> which ones I'm do you want? It's starting to look really weird. Which one? <laughs> you always you look know, weird. I'm curious with the cauliflower one. Okay, good choice. Great choice. And I want to end with that moringa one. That's interesting. All right, we'll try All right, that. We're going to, we don't want to make too much noise right now, so we're going to edit this out so you don't go. <laughs> you know, that sound, you hear that sound? It sounds terrible. So you don't want you guys hearing that, all right? So we're going to go ahead and cut. Sorry. First bag. We're trying the cauliflower, cauliflower. fuzz. These are one of my favorites. These and the Brussels sprouts, blah, blah, Brussels, Brussels sprout mm -hmm. flavor are my favorite. So I'm curious to see. Oh, they smell good too. I see, I see. You know, I was really shocked when the first time you took me to that restaurant to go try the the, um, the cauliflower, um, the buffalo. Oh, buffalo cauliflower. Oh, the buffalo cauliflower. Yes, yes. Yeah. She had me go taste that, and I was like, what? This stuff is delicious. That was at Mohawk Bend. I took him to Mohawk Bend, and we ordered a bunch of vegan food. I think we got pizzas oh, yeah. and their, their um, buffalo cauliflower, which was really, really good. Go ahead. Try it. Get it. Okay. Well, very vegetation-like. <laughs> vegetation-like? Just eat it. This smells the same. <laughs> Do you rub this vegans? on you or what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming out of your pores. <laughs> I'll have some more. Mmm. I was not expecting to have that much flavor. Mmm. These are really good. I'm trying to think what this tastes like. I, mean, I think if cauliflower tasted this good, I would probably eat more cauliflower. What color? That, that tastes too good to be cauliflower. But... <laughs> That's, it does that's have the cauliflower. flavoring. Yeah, that's the flavoring right there. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower powder. So you like this one? I like that one. That one's right. pretty good. When we're done, you'll let me know which one you like the most. And maybe I'll let you keep that bag. <laughs> I'll steal it anyway. <laughs> so which one did you want to do next? The Moringa Puffs? Let's keep that for the end. Let's do okay. um, Brussels sprouts. My second favorite. Brussels sprouts. It doesn't sound like it'd be good, but... <laughs> I promise they Again. are. All right. These kind of smell the same. Yeah. It's slightly different. I can't really put my finger in the scent, but. I'm still eating the other ones, too. <laughs> mm. I think I still like the other one better. Yeah. But this is a good flavor. Because I actually want variety. You know what they reminded me of a little bit? The other ones? what I remember Funyuns used to taste like, but better. Yeah. Like like an upgraded Funyun. And I think that's maybe the onion powder that's in it. You can eat it and not feel that guilt. The guilt. Yeah, because Funyuns... I feel did you know, guilt all the time. I look Funyuns? crazy right now. Yeah, I know. Did you know Funyuns have dairy in it? 
I didn't know that. That's so unnecessary. There's dairy fillers and everything. It's annoying. All right, All right. you want to try the next one? Yes. Okay, so this you like this one, but not as much as the cauliflower puffs. We'll move on to the beet puffs, because I've tried them. I like them. But you haven't tried them yet. Right. And I want to try them again. All right, so here are the beet puffs. They don't smell like a whole lot, but um, they the colors kinda, the colors different on these. They kind of almost look like um, look nicely like coated. Look at that. Flaming hot cheetos. Yeah, they or do look like that. And the flavor is really good. All right. <sighs> mm. I just hope they don't taste too much like beets. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't. It's a surprisingly good flavor. Mm. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. I was expecting... you see beet puffs and you go, ugh, but then yeah. you eat them and you're like, what? You know what? I, I should know better by, the you know, trying the other ones and they don't taste exactly like vegetables. I should know better not to expect these to taste exactly like vegetables. It has like a, like a beet-y aftertaste, but I don't feel like it's overwhelming. Very, very small, very, very subtle. I won't eat beets, but I will eat these. <laughs> these are good. These are good. Mm. I feel like it's harder for me to open my mouth and eat because <laughs> everything's drying on my face. <laughs> is is that? Are you having the same issue? Yep. But the texture is good. I mean, this is this is. I would definitely switch to these instead of the traditional, old school ones because these are so healthy. We've got two more to try. We've got the cheddar puffs and the moringa puffs. Do you want to do the cheddar I'm first? I'm going to do the moringa at the end. Okay. Cheddar's up next. I'm pretty sure this is going to taste delicious. You're right. Oh, smell that. It smells like cheddar. Oh, that that's sharp strong. Cheddar. Whoa. That is a, a sharp cheddar. That smells really good. Right? What, 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 look and see what's in there. <laughs> And very few ingredients, too. But it's not cheddar. It smells like it. It's better than cheddar. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> well, no animals had to be exploited for this cheddar. <laughs> Here you go. I'm going to lick it. I'm going to try it. It's kind of almost buttery, too. It's like cheddar butter. Butter cheddar. How would you know what butter tastes like? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, I wasn't born vegan. Well, from what I remember, that is so interesting. Like... No, that's very buttery. I mean, it's if you were like... to take this to like a, we well, have to sneak it in, but if you take it to a theater, you sneak it in one of those big purses instead of popcorn. Like me. <laughs> instead of popcorn, you <laughs> that's what I always these. do. I... So for, for me, I love these. These are like a buttery cheddar to me. I would love to eat that instead of popcorn at, at a theater. Really? Tastes good. Okay. I'm gonna order a bunch yeah, for you off of next Amazon. Meal. And... <laughs> then you open the back. People are, shh. All right, here we go. Next I'm up. curious about this one. Yeah, me too. So do you remember what Moringa was? It's stuff. It's stuff, It oh. grows and from a tree. It's edible, right? <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs> we'll find I out. Hope so. <laughs> no, we should probably put a link to what this stuff is. Because I never heard of it. I know I'll, what it is. You know what? I'll put some links in the uh, the the little thing that people click on. And I'm not a YouTuber. Somewhere I don't know here. these things. Oh, right. We're going to figure this stuff out. <laughs> Once again, none of these have a very overwhelming smell except for the cheddar. Mm, yeah. This one doesn't really smell like anything. Let's see. You know what? It smells like healthy, but not in a bad way. No, it does. It smells like, like veggies or something. Definitely. It smells different than all the others. Let's try it out. The coating's on there is just very light. You can't really see it. I gotta cleanse my palate with some tea. Hmm. Oh, is so, it sweet? It's sweet. That's good. I like it. It almost reminds me of like a sweet cereal. Yes, yes. All right, so we've tried all of them. Um, I would say my top three favorites will be the cauliflower, cauliflower puffs, um, the cheddar puffs, and 
the Brussels sprout puffs. What about yours? Mine, if I want something very sweet, I'm going with these bad boys right here. These are delicious. I don't know, they, I just love that flavor. Uh, but if I want something more savory, ooh, beef puffs. These are really good. And it's the cauliflower ones too. Those are really nice. But I, I, I guess these would be my top two right here. Okay. These are delicious. I've got a, a pro vegan tip here. So um, vegan rubs are not sold in my area at grocery stores, unfortunately, at least not yet, or I haven't been able to find them. Um, but I usually do find them at um, Home Goods, which is owned by, I guess, the same people who own TJ Maxx. And they have like a snack section and they have a lot of like healthier snacks and popcorns and chips and stuff like that. And I often seem to find the cauliflower puffs and the Brussels sprout puffs there. So usually when I see them, because I'm a jerk, I just kind of buy all of them. They're gonna restock them anyway. But yeah, um, you can also get them online. So um, if you don't have a home goods near you or if they're not sold in stores near you, I'll link them below um, so you can find them. Um, you can also buy them online, I believe through Amazon because that's where my bestie got them last time when we went on vacation. And then I'll also be linking these as well um, so you guys can order them directly from their website if you want to. So I think we should probably go um, take this off of our faces because we've had it on for a lot longer than... Wet our fingertips and get it minutes. off of our faces, yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go take this off in the sink. You can take yours off in the toilet. Normal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you always splash your face That's in there well, anyway. That's well, exfoliate, yes. <laughs> Expo what? Ew. So we're going to go take all of this off and then we'll be back. <laughs> Alright, so we just washed everything off of our faces and I have really sensitive skin, but this didn't dry out my skin or cause any rash or irritation. So yay, I like it. How was I yours? I feel clean too. Nice and fresh. Nice. You had the charcoal one, right? And it clean, yeah. yeah. And it, mine had like exfoliants in it, but you said yours didn't. No, mine was just pretty smooth once I wiped it off with uh, water. Yeah, once I started rubbing it in, I could feel these little pieces, so I started scraping. My forehead is smooth right <laughs> now, smooth. Yeah, so um, we have our favorites, and again, I'll link everything down below in case any of you, in case any of you are interested. So that's it for now, and I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.